Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday 20, uh, I'll, got ahead of myself there. It's Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. So looks like my Orion, I'm about to restart this. Something funky's going on. Stocks are pretty flat, but the uh, Dow is up. Yeah, Nasdaq's pretty flat, so is S&P. So we'll see if it can uh, pull out another green day here after yesterday's nice green day. Hopefully you got in on some of the four trades that uh, I was in on yesterday. I'm still just astonished by Coinbase and uh, how it got up to almost $11. And I closed my last contract out at like three sixty-five. dollars So, um, I mean, with one contract, that that'd been, would have been another like $800 and some dollars added to my, my day yesterday. About to held that for one more five minute bar. So I don't know if Orion's just taking some time here or if there's, yeah, it looks like it's just slow. So, yesterday was a great day, but today's a new day, and the bell has rung. Let's hope my Orion can speed up here a little bit. And uh, everything kind of starts in the green. Russell, a little bit in the red. Lift is up almost 3%. Eton down uh, a little under 3%, down to a little, it's under six bucks now, share. Amazing. <clears throat> Today is Wednesday, so we trade the two days to expiration option chain. And if you're new, welcome, and make sure you post in the Discord day trading chat channel, especially if you see one of our, our setups, Mighty 90, Volume Runner. Always helps having other people looking out for the strategies we're trading here. VIX down three quarters of a percent. Yesterday, that square trade, man, just was the perfect storm. And when I say that, I mean, you know, it was a strong market. It had a little pullback. And the price really was the reason why it ended up being so profitable. Because, you know, if that would have been a stock that was at like $4, um, you know, I probably would have done four to six contracts. And then if I added to it, I probably would have done 
you know, added four contracts. And so, you know, I would have scaled out and got all the way um, through the, uh, as, as the price increased and would have ran out of contracts, but because it was, you know, I added a dollar seven, you know, I'm adding more contracts. And so I had a lot of contracts on after the ad. So, And it was a low risk because it came down to a pivot. And, you know, I remember saying, you know, if this pushes down through the pivot, I'm just, I'm just closing it. So that's the beauty of the strategy is that would have been probably a small loser if it pushes through the pivot. Cause I would have just cut it right there. And um, if not, and it goes up in our favor, it's turns into a big winner. <clears throat> it's a little two-way action here. Got some stocks pushing down. NVIDIA and Apple trying to push up. I don't trade Coinbase very much, but man, it really worked out yesterday. Second bar here. This is my last day leading the live stream in August. So we'll have my monthly summary after today. Steve will be here tomorrow with ZODTE on the last trading day in August. <clears throat> VIX has come up slightly since uh, it opened, but the Dow is also, Dow futures pushing up. It's Dow up 111. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Dow futures up 108. NASDAQ just, just kind of staying flat right now. That was the NASDAQ that was so strong yesterday. A lot of people buying the tech dip from the previous uh, couple weeks. <laughs> Roku, man, back up to just a little under eighty dollars a share. I like when it's right about there. It had gotten down to almost under 50 earlier this year. I was getting a little concerned. It was going to be too small to trade. <clears throat> NASDAQ really coming down here. VIX really popping up. VIX goes green. So we'll be looking for some volume here. Not really seeing any at the moment. In fact, volume looks really low compared to yesterday. Sure. We're about halfway through this five-minute bar and uh, just really low volume. So it does not look like we'll have any volume runners out of the gates.
Yeah, just just really. I mean, look at Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, Apple, just really low volume. Now, is that low volume or did my Orion freeze? That's I'm thinking my Orion is frozen. Yes, it is because Tesla is a lot bigger in. So we have to restart my Orion. For some reason it is acting slow today. So that Tesla is actually getting close to a big volume bar here, but it's in the opposite direction. So I'm looking at my think or swim. Come on, Orion. So while I'm trying to get Orion back open, if you see any uh, potential volume runners, please uh, post them as I'm dealing with a little technology issues Yeah, so Meta got a downside volume runner, but it's already coming down, unfortunately. So it would have been nice to get in on that little bump up. Yeah, and Boeing, upside volume runner, but it uh, just has not pulled back any. went straight up so come on Orion <laughs> and uh Boeing's volume volume bars looks like it's gonna get another big one so I probably would have gotten in meta on that little bounce if I'd have, wouldn't have to do, be dealing with what I'm dealing with Yeah, probably been out of half by now. And this is something else. It's never done this before. Let me see here. So let me uh, pull this over. I'll detach my trading tab. All right, there we go.
thing is I just have to scroll through them now. So I don't, uh, it's, it's harder to see them as quickly. So I'm not seeing any mighty 90s as of yet. And big volume bar from Boeing. Huge. Meta still coming down. That would have been a good downside volume runner in Meta. If you could have got in like right up here, that's probably where I would have tried to get in at. I don't know what's going on with Orion. So Boeing... Pulling back a little bit, but sometimes I get a little cautious when you get to see these ridiculous volume bars. Sometimes they don't always pan out. NVIDIA is just kind of stair-stepping downward. And then popping up a little bit. So Meta is popping up a little bit here. If it comes back up here to 295, I might just jump in. Morning, Dax. VIX, interestingly enough, coming down through lows. So 
So there is a there's a lot of stocks that are coming down, but there's a lot of stocks bouncing too. So um not sure about meta here. Boeing pulling back a little bit. Just trying to be a little careful here. I'm not quite sure which direction this market's going to go. Appears to be getting strong. Boeing, I kind of wanted to jump in when it was down here, but... I think I might jump in a little Boeing short. If it comes above here, I'll just bail on it. So 232.5 puts. 232.5 puts. I'll try to jump in here. At 330. Build at 335. So I had to adjust it a tick. Meta. It's the 232.5 puts. Vic's still coming down though. Yeah, that Boeing a little pullback there would have been nice. Oh, man. I take that. Uh, I was in on the wrong one. Never mind. <laughs> I was, I, I got, I, I got filled on Boeing. <sighs> My tab was screwed up. Uh, okay. Um, so that was not meta. That was Boeing. Uh, I did not want to be in Boeing. I wanted to be in meta. Darn it. So I have this, I have my tab, my thinkorswim tab detached. Um, I closed out, by the way, I closed out 325 for meta. I closed it. Um, everybody's probably like, what are you talking about? Um, so when I detached it, uh, I need to unlink it here. That's a big blunder. So I, I just so basically like when I click on one here, okay, so it's it was sitting on Boeing. So my detached um, option trading screen it links with Boeing, and so I thought I was on Meta, but I wasn't. So no real harm yet. I mean. Meta really hasn't gone anywhere. And this is 
really a little bit tougher when I don't have that Orion up. So I, I wouldn't even really count that as a trade. I mean, that's it was just a mistake. Yeah, the meta will probably just fall now. Would have been the second time I missed it today, thanks to this technical issue. So hopefully, hopefully you're not having technical issues and you're able to. Hope you guys got in on meta. I mean, that's that's what I would have. Where you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I don't really know what's going on with Orion. Okay, so meta, let's try this again. 297.5 puts. Mm. It's almost getting maybe a mighty 90 as well. Build up 415, 297.5 puts. So it's almost, it was almost like a mighty 90 as well. So then this big volume bar and a mighty 90, that's why, that's why I got short. Now we close half at four fifty five. Man, I thought I was going to get filled there. Filled at four fifty five to close half of Meta. So I really liked it once it pushed up because the volume was showing a mighty 90 and it already had a big volume bar to the downside. So I thought that was a good one to get into. Ryan's still not working. I've got I've been trying to pull it up on a different screen and it's just I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's Orion, my internet. I mean it's hardwired, so I don't think it would be my internet. Square had a nice, nice looking mighty ninety as well. I mean, right in front of my face. Nice push up. Yeah, things seem to be getting strong. Everything's in the red. I'm sorry, in the green. And Meta pushing back up to about where I got in. Man, it's frustrating. No, Ryan doesn't work. Yeah, so meta pushing up. I may add back in here.
I would add back. I would add back into meta on this mighty ninety um, at like three eighty. I mean, it's just it's just a little slower whenever I have to click on every one. That's that's the problem. Is you can really, and that Orion's when I use Orion, I can just at a glance I can take a look just real quick. Netflix getting the mighty 90. So Netflix, I would trade the 435 puts. Try to get filled at 505. on darn it really wanted to fill Netflix there I probably could have got filled at 510 we'll see it might pop up but that's a good volume separation right there that's what we look for. I should have, you know, I probably should have just tried to get in on that one because it was, it was close to, you know, like to, when it's got volume separation like that on a mighty 90 and it's pushing up. And it's at the end of the five minute bar. That's where I really like to get in. But it could push back up. I mean, VIX is still coming down. Square, given two red bars out of that mighty 90 that I missed. Boeing, a little mighty 90 as well. Looks like it may give two red bars. Build at 380 to add to Meta. Yeah, square mighty 90 would have worked. Okay, so now I'm going to try to jump back in Netflix here. Get a better fill here now. 
same 435 puts filled at 485. So maybe maybe uh, the fact I didn't originally get filled, maybe that uh, will help out. I think I should get lucky on that because of what's going on with my Orion today. I would close half my meta at um, 420, which is just a little bit above my original entry. It's harder to really like get in more than a couple trades when I can't, you know, when I'm, when I have to click on and, and look at them this way, you know, when I can't just like browse them real quick. So looking for two red bars out of both Netflix and Meta. Man, I was real close to getting out of half of my Meta. Real close. Like a nickel. I was considering adjusting. You know, for as strong as the market has gotten, there wasn't very many Boeing. It was about the only upside volume runner. Netflix pushing up to this pivot might be a good time to add to it. And not quite ready to add to it. Now I am. I'd add to my Netflix. Build it uh, 445 to add. So I would get out at 485 of half. That's kind of how that works. And square. I've been a, been a real good mighty 90. That's what I wanted to see out of Meta. I mean, Meta's struggling a little bit to push up. Now Netflix is pushing up higher than I wanted. I didn't want to push to that pivot, darn it. So I just need two red bars out of that. And look at, yeah, look at Square. Beauty. That have been a beauty. I got one red bar out of, well, barely red out of meta. I 
And now Netflix is flirting with a big volume bar. VIX still coming down. It's down two and a quarter percent. Man. Yeah, really nice. Really nice uh, mighty 90 and square there. So Netflix potentially getting a big volume bar to the upside here. So it may just bail if I get a one bar pullback. Kind of, kind of see what the rest of the market's doing. Boeing kind of have a little upside continuation here, maybe. A little three bar pullback. Or is Boeing done pushing? Again, it's hard to scan for new trades when I can't get that Orion to work. And Netflix, it's not what I wanted to see. I just hope it gets forced down right there. If I can get a little pullback, then maybe I'll just bail on Netflix. You know, Meta just keeps getting... Getting rejected there. Ah. So Netflix not doing doing me dirty so I'm closing it filled at 365 so tough one there nice nice looking mighty 90 though like I, I would get in that all day every day all right let's pull let's pull this over here Let's move this back over here. So just a rough day with my technology here. So I apologize for that.
So not the way I wanted to end my month after yesterday, uh, having techn te technology issues. First page loaded, but the second page is not now. Jesus. Sometimes it's just one of those days. I already throw my computer through or throw my laptop through my TV over here. I think it was disappointing about Netflix is just, um, you know, I mean, it had a really nice looking mighty 90 and I get in that 10 days out of 10 when I see, when I see the volume pop like that and another push up, I mean, that's just a really solid looking mighty 90. So I'm not really disappointed in the trade itself. It just was a mighty 90 that didn't work that turned into an upside volume runner. So still waiting for two bars on meta, two red bars. So more times than not, you're going to get, in terms of the probabilities, you're going to get a, you know, a mighty 90 that works. It's actually a mighty 90 in Apple short as well right now. See Apple trade the one eighty seven point five puts. Build at one thirty. I jumped in there quick. I like that Apple volume pop. You can see here uh, it's got a nice separation. It pushed up. I got in just below, just as it started to come down. So Meta kind of pushing right up to where it's just been rejected all these times. Which is odd because things appear to be coming down on other stocks. Look, Roku, Amazon, NVIDIA, Tesla all coming down. And it looks like it's frozen. So it froze again. We get out of half my Amazon at a dollar forty five.
See, they're frozen or it's just really slow. Build at 420 to close half of my meta. So finally. So hoping to get two bars out of red bars in a row out of meta now. What did I say? Apple? Oh, yeah, $1.45 would be out of half. Get out of another meta. Build at 460 to close another meta. Whoa. Look at this push down. Build it a dollar forty five to cut, get out half of Apple. So nice little push down there. It's interesting. Yeah, so Apple's a just like Netflix was a really nice mighty 90 setup. Again, nothing's 100%, right? But I wanted to jump in Apple because again, it had good volume pop and it ended pushing up as, you know, to the top there. I would close another meta at five bucks. And so hopefully we can get a second red bar out of these. Build it five bucks to close another meta. So patience paid off in meta. Get rid of another apple filled at a dollar fifty five. Just trying to trim some on this push down. So looks like we're gonna get a second red bar. So do I close out or do I leave some on? And that is the question. Got three metas left. Metas meta is coming down to lows of day, so that's interesting. Okay. 
<clears throat> so Apple, I mean, if you look at for anybody that's new, if you look at that Apple Mighty 90, I mean, that's like your ideal Mighty 90 setup. Get out of another apple filled at a buck seventy one. Meta is coming down to lows. I think I might leave. Let me get rid of another one here. Filled at five thirty to close a quarter. So I got two left. So I think I'll just um see what happens here it's coming down to a pivot man i'm not sure what's caused this big flush look at netflix man if i'd have held it just a little bit longer i would have got it all back and then some but there's your two red bars and netflix on the mighty 90 again this is just uh something not sure what's caused this flush here. But it's certainly helped me since I uh, was read with Netflix. So, okay. So, two red bars. So, I think I'm going to... Man, VIX is still coming up. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold these what I have right here now. Let's see if we can get a little run. If it doesn't, then I'll just close them out. But the VIX is still firing up. I'm gonna get out of another apple. Go to the buck ninety eight. So my screen's frozen again on Orion, so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close Meta, but keep Apple open. Well, give me a second. Give me a second here. So Meta's coming out of this pivot, and Apple's. Let me pull this over. Let me, let me uh, go ahead and just detach again. Okay, it's detached. So let me bring this over. So let me show you why I'm doing what I'm doing. Man, something is ridiculously slow here. Okay, so Meta's coming down to this pivot, and so is Amazon. So if Meta looks like it wants to bounce off the pivot, I'll close it, but Am or not Amazon, Apple. But I'm letting Apple keep coming down because I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I wonder if it'll bounce off this pivot. We got five apples left. I'm going to close another Apple. Build it 204. And Meta, I see, is it going to push through that pivot? Keep in mind, these are mighty 90s, so you would want to close them out after two red bars. But I'm just, you see how this VIX just fired up? So I'm seeing if we're going to get somewhat of a flush here.
but a lot of times you'll get a flush down to a pivot and then a bounce. So any sign of a bounce out of meta, I would get out. And now that Apple has come down to the pivot, see before, when this when this bar started, it was up here. That's why I held my contracts to see if it come down to the pivot. Um, but now that it has gone down to the pivot, it has started to bounce a little bit. So I'm um, going to go ahead and um, close my meta. See how it's bouncing. Filled at 510. Close the rest of my meta. And I, ha I had two contracts. I, I only had two contracts left. So, but you can see. And so I don't want Apple to do that either. And I want it to bounce up a ton. I got four apples left. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and close my apple out and call it a day. Which didn't turn out all bad, all things considered. Build it a buck ninety to close Apple. So okay, so yeah, you know, good lesson here on a mighty ninety. Uh, I let the Apple one run down a little bit more. When it came down to that pivot, I was just very cognizant of a bounce. And uh, same thing with Meta. Dipped his toe below and then bounced. So, all right, folks. Uh, I will be here Friday. So you'll see Steve third tomorrow. And I'll see everybody back on September 1st. So have a good one. Peace.